According to reports today, Jack Harrison could well be on his way back to Everton on loan if they pay his wages in full. Uh, that is according to sources in Yorkshire who claim that although Leeds United would prefer to sell Harrison this summer, they would be willing to allow the winger to rejoin Everton on a year's loan. Uh, Harrison is contracted to Ellen Road until 2028. He signed a five-year deal last year for Leeds United, but obviously they didn't get promoted and therefore they, uh, there is a clause in his contract which allows him to move on loan. He spent the season on loan at Everton. He scored three goals. I thought he did he did well at times. Other times, you know, wasn't as good, but I think he's a hard working player. I think Sean Dyche is delighted with the work rate, the work ethic of Jack Harrison. And I think this season, if he had another season, he'd settle in even better, get a full pre-season behind him at Everton. And, uh, yeah, I think it's an easy win for Sean Dyche if he can get him. He's already hinted he wanted them back on loan. And I think Kevin Thelwell right now uh, will be working on that deal. I think Jack is very keen to come back to Goodison Park. Uh, Everton have again today been linked with a move for AS Roma striker Tammy Abraham. Uh, the striker being linked with a move to Sean Dyche's side today by the Corriere del Sport in Italy and is thought to be available for around €20 million. Euros. Uh, this is mainly seen as a replacement for Dominic Calvert-Lewin, who is still yet to sign a new deal at Goodison Park, and there's no indication whether Dominic will stay right now. Uh, Tammy Abraham has suffered with a bad knee injury, of course, but last season returned to play eight games and scored one goal. Uh, he's been on Everton's radar before. He's had some good seasons when he scored heavily, uh, and others he's not done so well, but when he's at you know on, on top of his form, he is a handful. He's got good movement and doesn't know where the net is. But again, like I've just said, this will be dependent on whether or not Dominic Calvert-Lewin signs that new deal that Everton have uh, offered him to uh, to remain at Goodison Park or whether he moves on. So uh, we'll wait and see on that one. According to the Telegraph Sports section, Farhad Mashiri is in serious negotiations with Kenneth King, who is the owner and CEO of ACAP, about them taking over his major uh, majority shareholding at Everton Football Club. Uh, there are a number of interested parties looking to buy Everton, uh, but the Tele Sports section maintains that ACAP could well be the front runners at the moment. The financial insurers lent Triple Seven the £200 million pound that they put into Everton Football Club when they thought they were going to take over the ownership. And this could be one of the reasons why they're so interested in it taking over the club right now to, to protect that £200 million. Pound. Um, well known blogger, the ESC uh, financial. Um, expert as a uh, poured scorn on this story today. He said it'd be totally absurd if Farad Mashiri done a deal with ACAP. The ESC, Paul ESC is far more experienced and far more knowledge of the financial side of things than I have. So I will bow to his, uh, his superior knowledge on that one. But you wouldn't put it past Farad Mashiri to do something a little bit mad. So again, we're all watching this story very, very carefully uh, to see how it plays out. And finally, former England goalkeeper Joe Hart has praised Everton and England keeper Jordan Pickford ahead of Euro 2024. Joe Hart, speaking to EvertonFC.com, said Jordan's been excellent since taking over the role as England number one. He said he's been really, really good in previous tournaments. Every time he's been called upon, he has massively stepped up. I think he should be really proud of his achievements. And I think Everton, as a club, should be proud to have him as their number one. Uh, I think we all are proud to have him as our number one. Uh, Jordan and England begin their Euro 2024 campaign on Sunday against Serbia. Kickoff is 8 o'clock in Gelsenkirchen. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you check out uh, my free five free transfer video. That's available now on YouTube. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you later.